get ready to zoom into mind-blowing territory. The Flash might be able to outrun a photon, but in reality, it's virtually impossible for any object, including super-fast spaceships, to catch up with light. A photon from the sun takes eight minutes to reach Earth. Imagine if you could pass it while still having time for a quick stretch. So, what's stopping us from breaking the speed of light barrier and exploring the universe at incredible velocities? In this video, we're diving into the ultimate physics challenge can we really make spacecraft travel faster than light? Buckle up for a reality check. Albert Einstein's special theory of relativity puts a hard cap on speeds. Nothing can go faster than light. But wait, there's an exception that's about to blow your mind. Quantum particles called entangled twins can be separated by vast cosmic distances, and yet they stay connected in a way that defies space and time. When one twin changes state, the other gets instantly updated. Yes, you read that right faster than light speed. This phenomenon is known as quantum entanglement, and it's making physicists question our understanding of the ultimate speed limit. The einstein beers quantum entanglement showdown a clash of titans. Albert Einstein wasn't a fan of quantum entanglement as it threatened his speed limit theories. But hold on, because while this phenomenon might sound like a superpower to send info zooming faster than light, it's not exactly a particle teleportation system. It's more like updating a buddy about their own status from afar. Now let's talk wormholes, these cosmic shortcuts that could potentially connect two distant points in space-time, kind of like a folded up map. Picture this the wormhole entrance near Earth and the exit close to the sun, not so far away. But here's the catch, if anything did manage to zip through this wormhole super fast, it would blast past the speed of light barrier, reaching its destination 500 times quicker. However, let's not get our hopes up just yet. Scientists warn that traversing a wormhole would be like stepping into a radiation oven, seriously hazardous. And don't even think about sticking your hand in there, you'd face an explosion so massive, it'd dwarf even the most epic supernova blast. Now, you might wonder if some explosions aren't always useful. You might think gamma ray bursts, which happen when two neutron stars collide to create a new star, are the key to defying light speed limits. After all, these blasts of energy make plasma jets shoot out at speeds faster than light itself. But hold on, don't think we've cracked the code just yet. Even if radiation waves can zip past the cosmic speed limit in a gamma ray burst, there's still a catch. The speed of light isn't always 300,000 kilometers per second. It slows down when it encounters any kind of environment outside a perfect vacuum like our own atmosphere, and in those conditions, photons cruise along at about three-quarters of that blistering pace. But here's the thing, those crazy fast plasma jets seen in gamma-ray bursts aren't zipping through a vacuum, they're shooting out into our atmosphere, so we can actually see them from Earth. Which means, even though these radiation waves are zooming past their photon friends, they're still stuck at less than 300,000 caroms per second. That's the cosmic speed limit, so no cheating by hiding in an empty space. Now you might be thinking, come on scientists, surely there must be a way to outsmart this speed cap. Well, researchers are indeed trying to push past light speed barriers using mind-bending concepts like quantum entanglement and wormholes. But these ideas are still purely theoretical though, and who knows when we'll actually see some real progress. In 1995, physicist Sergei Krasnikov threw down the gauntlet when he claimed that FTL travel is nothing but an illusion. According to Krasnikov's concept, you can't just strap yourself into a spacecraft and go faster than light. Instead, we'd need to construct a network of tubes or tunnels through warp spacetime, essentially creating our own wormhole highway system at home. No radiation hazards or explosive surprises here. With this setup in place, imagine zipping from New York to Tokyo or Sydney to Paris in the blink of an eye, and I mean it, no exaggeration, all thanks to a shortcut through spacetime that defies our usual speed limits. But here's the catch, we're still far from building that wormhole maker or tunnel paver, which would need to reach mind-boggling speeds close to light itself. Krasnikov's vision is a tough act to follow. Fortunately, NASA has been exploring more down-to-earth technologies inspired by some seriously smart scientists. Let's hop across the border to Mexico and meet Miguel Alcubierre. This genius physicist was binge-watching Star Trek in 1994 when he stumbled upon an idea that would change everything. The Enterprise's Warp Drive 1 which allows it to travel faster than light by warping spacetime, isn't just a TV fantasy. It turns out, many galaxies are already moving away from us at speeds exceeding the speed of light, a phenomenon known as cosmic expansion, and we're not talking science fiction here. So, it's not the galaxies themselves that are breaking Einstein's rules, but rather the space between them. Think of it like a vast cosmic ocean. This empty space can stretch and expand at incredible speeds. Alcubierre was inspired by this idea and decided to ride this cosmic wave. 
His game-changing concept, known as the Alcubierre warp drive, creates a kind of space surfing effect. By manipulating space-time in front of and behind a spacecraft, it can essentially surf through space without going faster than light itself. Imagine a boat carving through waves. That's basically what this futuristic tech would do with space. And the best part, it wouldn't even need to break Einstein's speed limit because it wouldn't be moving at all, it'd just be warping the space around it. Imagine catching those gigantic waves of space-time expansion, you'd leave all other spacecraft in the dust, effortlessly breaking free from the shackles of speed limits. Sounds too good to be true, right? Unfortunately, there's a catch, and it's not just the jealousy when your ex walks into the bar with someone new. The Alcubierre warp drive needs something called negative energy. We're not talking about emotional baggage here. This is an exotic form of energy that defies our current understanding and hasn't been seen in reality yet. But let's suspend disbelief for a moment, assuming we've magically found this elusive energy source. Now that we've got our negative energy, can we finally shatter the cosmic speed limit and zoom past light's pace? Not quite, there are more obstacles than just this hypothetical energy hurdle. Let's dive into what happens when you get close to light speed. It's a scenario Einstein's theory of relativity warns us about and trust me, he's no party pooper. Imagine launching a tiny two-month-old kitten into space, weighing one kilogram easy peasy. As this little guy hits one-fifth of light speed, he suddenly gains 20 grams in weight. Could this be just stress? No way, it gets even wilder when we push the spacecraft past 90% of light's pace at this point. Our kitten has nearly doubled in mass. So what's behind this mind-bending mass gain? Einstein's got the answer as things approach the speed of light, they get heavier because they're accelerating energy skyrockets. Welcome to relativistic mass. The closer we get to light speed, the tougher it gets, not just for rockets, but also for our speeding kitten. At nearly the speed of light, its mass goes off the charts technically, it hits infinity. So, forget building a rocket that can carry this little bundle of joy at such breakneck speeds. But what about superheroes? Why doesn't Flash turn into Jello while zooming around? Enter Lithak, our hero, with an awesome scientific superpower. Somehow he manages to defy the laws of physics and stay in top shape. But wait, how does Lithak stay one step ahead? He taps into negative energy to give his body a superpower, it has negative mass. This counteracts the massive weight gain that comes with approaching light speed. Now let's see if this trick works. As our hero hits 90% of light speed, time starts moving at a crawl for him, thanks to Einstein's famous theory. And here's another mind bender Lithak will see the world through a narrow tunnel vision, it's called length contraction. At an almost unimaginable 99% of light speed, things get seriously distorted. Lithak's view of reality is now super fuzzy, but don't think Lithak's world goes dark, literally. As he zooms forward, photons from his surroundings start to pass him by, shifting beyond what our human eyes can see. It's not that he's blind, it's more like his reality is now in a completely different wavelength. And if he pushes even further, time itself stops for Lithak when he breaks the light barrier. He'll be stuck in an eternal blackout. But hold on to your seats, because our superhero isn't one to give up easily. What if Lithak's got enough strength and speed to defy the laws of physics? Let's dive into what would happen if someone broke free from the light barrier and see the wild side effects they'd have to deal with. But here's the catch, Lithak can control his mass, but only as long as he keeps his focus. If he misses a beat or even blinks, his foot would hit the ground with an unfathomable force, causing an explosion so massive that it'd dwarf even the asteroid that wiped out dinosaurs. No way we're risking our Earth's existence for this experiment. So let's send Lithak flying into space where there's no air resistance. But wait, things just got a whole lot bigger. According to Einstein's theory of relativity, if Lithak breaks the light barrier, time itself would start unraveling at his speed, leaving a trail of cosmic chaos in his wake. But hold on to your seat, if Lithak breaks free from the light barrier, everything around him would start moving in reverse. He'd be chasing his own shadow, and theoretically, could even catch up to himself back at the starting line on Earth. But there's a catch our hero might not live long enough to experience this time travel paradox. See, photons aren't just tiny particles of light, they're also key players in chemical reactions that happen 300,000 kilometers per second. And if Lithak zooms past them at superluminal speeds, he'd essentially disconnect from the very fabric of reality. No more photosynthesis, no more combustion engines, and definitely no more Lithak being able to interact with our world. You got it, if Lithak somehow manages to outrun light, he'd be invisible to our eyes, but that's not all, he'd also become a ghostly figure in more ways than one. See, as he zooms past photons, the very building blocks of life, atoms and molecules, would lose their ability to form chemical bonds. It's like his body would start falling apart at the molecular level. 
in the worst case scenario our hero could turn into a cloud of dust or blow up with an explosion equivalent to 100 atomic bombs. Talk about a catastrophic consequence. So, what's the catch? Why can't we just make Lithak go super fast and defy the laws of physics? But here's where Einstein's fans step in with a mind-blowing explanation. 300,000 commas per second isn't just light speed limit, it's also the ultimate speed cap for any interaction happening within our universe. This fundamental constant is woven into the fabric of reality itself, like an invisible force field that governs how everything connects and communicates. Think of it as a cosmic law that says, if you try to cheat or break this rule, there'll be consequences. So, if Lithak tried to push past light's speed barrier, he'd essentially be going against the universe's own rules, triggering a chain reaction that would lead to chaos and destruction. You're still itching to defy the universe. Well, multiverse believers say why not try a different address? Literally. They propose jumping into another universe where the rules of physics might be totally flipped. Maybe in some alternate dimension, 300,000 k embers per second is just a snail's pace. But hold on, this cosmic game of tag comes with a huge catch. If you can't even survive for one second in that strange new world, what chance do you have to master its weird laws? You'd be